Hey guys, how are we all doing today? It is your friend, your good pal, your buddy Keith, and we're here again at Essex Recording Studios, and today I've got a very rare guitar indeed to share with you all. I want to thank everybody for watching, for clicking like, for subscribing. We are uh, we're only like 70 people away from hitting 1,000 subscribers on the channel, guys. Huge things start to happen when we hit 1,000, so keep spreading the word, uh, keep sharing it, and really, really appreciate all your efforts, guys. We're crushing it. Quarter million views already. And that's what allows me to bring super cool, super rare guitars like this to you each and every day. So, without further ado, we've got an original Ibanez RG770 in laser blue. This thing is so cool. What a throwback. And it absolutely shreds. Original case, original manual. Actually, I've never seen one of these before. Pretty cool. It uh, gets really in depth here, as you can see. It all folds out. It's kind of like a poster. Um, and then you've got these killer Ibanez USA pickups. I'm loving the the color on this. It's just incredible. What you're seeing in the video is a lot more accurate than what the photos look like if you're looking at this on our website or on Reverb. You've also got these beautiful blue kind of, I don't know what you call them. They're, uh, they're definitely a take on Jackson's shark fin inlays. There, there might even be a proper name for it. You can see kind of the angles and divots are all kind of a common motif. Um, I think we always called them like lightning bolt or thunderbolt inlays back in the day when I was in Florida. But this thing is just gorgeous. The neck is so figured. I can't wait to take this out of, the, out of its case and show it to you. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to take this tremolo bar off. This just pops out. It's that style. It's not the screw type. And let's go ahead and put this bad boy down on the pad. So this is the original Ibanez case, like I was saying. And now back to the guitar. So you've got these cool plastic kind of top hat knobs. They don't feel cheap though. They feel really well machined. All these. Feels really good. And the pots, they've got nice weight to them. So they don't feel chintzy. Same thing with the selector switch. Doesn't feel cheap, feels very well made. Um, your Floyd Rose is a licensed model. I don't know much about the Ibanez licensed Floyd Roses versus other licensed Floyd Roses, although I would say that anytime you get the ones with the pop-in tremolo arms, they're generally higher quality in my experience. Really nice white binding that pops against this blue color. I love the clear pick guard on it. Then you've got your locking nut, your string guide, string tree, and that laser blue continues all the way on the, uh, the headstock. If you can see, it's kind of like a pearlescent blue color. You can kind of see it in the light there. Now let's go ahead and flip it over and check out the back. So straight away, you've got these made in Japan. I'm assuming they're Goto tuners, but look at how figured this neck, this headstock is. I've never seen one like this before on an Ibanez. It's awesome. You've got the model number as a sticker, RG770. You've got the serial number beginning with an F for the Fuji Gen factory and uh, made in Japan, of course. The scarf joint on the neck with a little bit of flaming right there. And again, you have lots of figuring all the way down. And then you've got this cool neck plate that kind of fits into this bevel, this cutaway, and is at a slant. It's really neat. And again, Ibanez, made in Japan, new ideas for today's mu musicians. I never knew that that was their, uh, their tagline. That's funny. Uh, the serial number plate here is blank. Uh, which is very interesting, but I imagine that's because you have the serial number up there on the headstock. The back looks phenomenal. There's one knock 
on the uh, other side. I'll show it to you in a second. But not much to talk about in terms of buckle rash or anything else like that. You've got this little boo-boo right here. But we don't worry about that because that's nice and hidden. And I'll just come around this side show you more of this gorgeous neck. It's gorgeous. You can see uh, a little, I don't know if that's dirt or what, but uh, everything feels super smooth. If you like unfinished necks, this, uh, this feels great. And then again, I just can't get over this headstock. The uh, Jackson Adrian Smith Iron Maiden Signature Super Strats, the Sam Dimas Strats, uh, are kind of figured like this on their headstocks. That kind of that's kind of what it reminds me of. But just super super pretty. And again, there's your serial number. Yeah, what a great color too. It's kind of a an aqua marine a little bit. And I think that's it, guys. This is the RG series back uh, back in the day, early 90s. I think this this was made in uh, one year. I think it was like 91, 90, 91. I'll try to get that info up for the title in the description of the video. But, um, yeah, as soon as I saw the color, I had to have this. It's just awesome. And the fact that you've got the inlays, the pickups... The controls, the, all the plastics, everything matches. And again, killer Ibanez USA. I, I don't know who makes these. Someone is going to be an Ibanez genius and will let us all know on the channel. Probably if I had to guess, them. maybe they're DeMarzios. They look kind of like it. But um, yeah, Ibanez USA F2. And then a C, I don't know if it's a C2. And then another F2. Tell me all about it, guys. I want to learn. Awesome. Well, that's it for this guitar. I've got many more to do. We've got some in boxes, cases, gig bags. I've been slacking lately. Another one there. Another four more to do over there. So let me get off this video. Thank you guys one more time for subscribing to the channel and clicking like and helping me bring all these super cool rare guitars to you. And um, if you want to buy this one, Head on over to EssexRecordingStudios.com or go to our Facebook, Essex Recording Studios. Shoot me a message. We sell guitars off Facebook all the time. And uh, Reverb, Reverb.com ho hosts our website. So if you go on Reverb, you look for an Ibanez RG770, you're going to see this one uh, as if it's still available. And of course, why we get all these super cool guitars is for you guys to play with them when you come record here at our residential studio. If you go to Instagram, you can see all the super cool pictures of the studio, the outside, inside, some of the bands that have been through this year. Um, and that's at Essex Recording Studios on Instagram. So follow us there and tag along for the journey, guys. It's only getting better. We're only getting more and more guitars, cooler guitars, rarer guitars. Uh, got a Red Jackson Kelly USA that we just bought today. Uh, and I've been as Gem today, my very first one. And a cool ESP Horizon that's sitting in the trunk of my car. I need to go get that out. So yeah, your likes, your views, your comments, your subscribes, that's why we're doing this. I'll see you all very soon in the next video coming up here on YouTube in a few seconds. See you guys.